Hey, good evening. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Petalyn. And I'm Darren. Drinking from a manly cup. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got home from the um, ceremony. Ceremony. Australian citizenship. Yeah, I finally got my Australian um, citizenship certificate. Wow. So it's official today. Um, I'm, a, I'm an Australian citizen. So we just wanted to share our journey. Very proud. Mm, um, it wasn't easy. Um, my husband grew up here in Australia, by the way, so he didn't, he can't speak much of our, dialect. he can speak our, a little bit and he can understand a little bit, but, um, not fluent, not right? Not fluent at all. And so we met in Philippines mm -hmm. when he went there for a holiday and we were a girlfriend and boyfriend for one year, mm -hmm. more than one year. And then we decided to get married on uh, what year was it? Decided, 2013. 2013. And it was a long distance relationship after that. Um I have to wait for three, three years. Three years or four years. Three to years, yeah. Come to Australia. To come to Australia um because of money. Because we have to save up some money to mm. pay for my visa. Yes. Because I think at that time it cost me three thousand more than three thousand dollars yeah to get, so now Mother i think it helped out yes and i think now um it's more, more than seven more thousand than that, more than seven that thousand now. so we're very yeah, lucky so we're lucky it was cheaper back then yep yeah, and um so when i arrived here in australia oh that was 2016 mm. when i arrived here in australia and they i thought that you know um, life would be yeah it's comfortable here the standard of living is very different from where I came from mm. but it's lonely because um, I didn't know anyone then just um, his family but his family um, were also busy you know working because over because here everyone has to work so they can afford to pay their rent to buy their food um, because it's very expensive here so i mean for you to be able to afford to buy what you want here you need to work mm. so i wasn't working for six months until um someone referred me to this aged care facility to work as a kitchen hand which i don't mind because i used to work before as a service crew in jollibee and um during the times that i wasn't working i have to rely on him and his pay is not that much mm -hmm. right it's just enough for food and the rent. He can't even afford to buy me my, you know, clothes and but I don't mind. <clears throat> and so I started working as a kitchen hand. Um and I thought um it would be impossible for me to pursue my um my goal to become an, a registered nurse again. Um just not just because, you know, um financially but mentally I thought um <coughs> I don't know if I'm excuse me. If I'm ready or if I can do it but then I was inspired by some people I knew who were doing their bridging course then and um, another thing the most challenging for me is the English test because I'm not confident um, at that time that I will pass my English test and also I admit it I'm not fluent in English my grammar I'm still struggling with the right grammar the correct pronunciation so this one always criticizes me or always corrects me with my um, English grammar and my pronunciation, which I don't mind because um, um, as long as it doesn't do it to, to me in front of other people, I don't mind. So I passed my English test, not the first time, but the second time. So um, I have to pay for, I have to pay $600 each time I, I get the test. And when I did, when I passed a second time, it was very um, rewarding. Rewarding, but then that doesn't stop there. Now I've have to I have to come up with the money to pay for the bridging course, which cost me more than almost fourteen thousand dollars. Plus, I have to travel interstate to to um to do it there because we don't have it here in Brisbane. The so she had to go to was it Perth? Perth have to be away from him for for 
yeah for yeah, a month three months three months three months and we don't have any money then to pay for my school fees so what we did we need we borrowed from the bank you know the mm. personal loan which um really helped so while i was working um i'm lucky enough to get an annual leave so i get paid for it so somehow it helped um support my study um my my stay there because i'm renting the food and the bills no never ending bills that we need we have to pay and also what else then after that when i finished my bridging um i was very fortunate enough to to work in the same facility as a registered nurse they hired me um and i'm really grateful i stayed there for more than a year and then i didn't expect that i will land a job in the hospital um not that i thought as, um it would be impossible knowing that there are a lot of um more qualified more skilled nurses out there and but i kept praying because when i first arrived here in australia um that's the first hospital i went into and then i said to myself that someday i'm gonna work here and mm. here i am mm. i'm still working there so yes, to this day to this day so that's really a blessing a blessing and now this citizenship um another blessing for us yeah, that blessing. now i become an australian citizen i do not forget where i came from my um or my filipino roots um oh, i will always be proud to be filipino but i'm also grateful that um i have given this chance to to live in this country that i now call my home but my heart will still be in the Philippines because that's where my family is and um, when this COVID will be over soon we are we hope to to visit Philippines again yep and uh, what can you say what can I say go manly that's it and uh, another blessing is that I finally received a uh, an acceptance for employment for the PA hospital for the, if you, if you people don't know what PA means, it means Princess Alexandra. That's a better hospital than when my wife worked at Ligon. It's a lot bigger. Um, so I I started my orientation on Tuesday. So I'm excited about that. That's a challenge, but I will accept it with both hands and uh, work hard and impress the certain people that I need to impress. and. Just uh, hopefully keep my job and be happy with it. Mm. Uh, so there is, that's a blessing. Another blessing would be if my team wins the grand final this year. Go, Melly. That's it. So what can you say about our, our <coughs> journey? The journey has been uh, tiresome. It's been uh, a long journey, but worth it uh, mm. in the long run. Four years is a long wait. For my wife to arrive in Australia, um, there were days and nights that I was lonely, bored, uh, waiting for her to, you know, join me here. And God, it was a long time, a long time. Um, I did travel to Australia, uh, to Australia. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm in Australia. There were times when I traveled to the Philippines to see her because I was that uh, lonely and bored. I like. Like I wanted to see her every day, every day of the week. That's why when my mother flew there, I would join her just, just to see my wife. Then when the holiday would be over, when I had to fly back to Australia, that was the hardest thing for me to leave her behind. But now I don't have to worry about that because she's here with me now. And oh, that, that is good. That is a blessing. I'm happy to, for that. God is good because... um. We both um, always pray together, especially during this time. Um, actually, there's a silver liner, liner, <laughs> lining in this COVID because we are more prayer, prayerful and we try um, our best to mm. get more closer to God. Yes. Um, so even I... with all the problems that we've been through, we are still grateful. And we are still um, thankful to God because it's strengthened us. That's why we, 
we have God as you know we we allow God to be the center of our marriage mm, you know, without always. him without him we we are we, not a perfect not, couple you know what I mean? we have our highs and lows but yes. we always just keep praying yes and and this blessing is um bless everyone we are surrounded with beautiful friends and beautiful family that's that's the support they give us gives us strength to forge ahead so mm. thank you everybody you've been amazing thank you very much all right and that's it we'll share more of our life thank experiences you. on our next vlog is patis <laughs> have a good night like and please like and, and unsubscribe <laughs>